Hey guys, welcome back to another Friday Reads. Today I have a decent sized book haul for you guys. I limited what I'm going to share to 11 books today and maybe next month I'll show you the other stack of books I have over there on my floor just waiting for me to haul them. But y'all know I can ramble on a lot and I don't want to have like a 30 minute video talking about all the books I bought. So we're talking about 11 today. I'm going to go in the order I bought them, I think, or I'll group them into the how I bought them. And I'm going to start off with books I bought from my library. So if you didn't know, when libraries get new editions or um, just a new book, maybe one's getting a little too beat up or people donate books that they don't need to put on their shelves, they usually sell them. And my library sells books for 10 cents each. Yes, 10 cents. Or you could fill a bag for a dollar. There have never been enough books that I'm interested in for me to fill a bag. There's usually only a handful of books set out on the book sale table anytime I go, but I do have five books here that I did buy it from my library. Not all at once, but like one book or so at a time. The first is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. They had quite a few classics. Oh, I actually bought three that I have heard of before. Um, I kind of wish I would have got all of them in um, this edition here. There was quite a few. These are the premier classics. Um, this one isn't obviously, but I did see Jane Eyre there as well. I just feel like this is a really popular classic that I feel like I should read. The other two classics I got in this edition, as I was saying, um, there was like a whole line of them and I should have just bought them all. It was silly of me not to, but I bought these two too late now. The first is Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. I honestly don't know what these classics are about. Classics is not a genre that I am familiar with, but I've heard the titles of these books before and so I picked them up for 10 cents. And the other one is The Three Musketeers by Alexander Dumas. Um, he's French, right? I believe so. <laughs> And this is a much bigger book than I was expecting when I saw the title. I thought The Three Musketeers was a children's book, but maybe it was just adapted to be a children's story. And the OG classic is very large. So I did buy these three classics. So this was 30 cents. Uh, this was one trip to my library. I have found The Kind Worth Killing by Peter Swanson, which this is on my Spookathon TBR, which you'll be seeing that vlog um, after this video goes up. This has been on my Goodreads to be read list for a very long time because Emily Fox from Books with Emily Fox talks about this in her fall reading recommendations pretty much every year. And it just sounds really interesting. This is about a man who's complaining to a woman in the airport about how much he hates his wife. I believe and she takes him really seriously and so this is a thriller and I can't wait to pick this up hopefully this month. And lastly from my library I saw Outlander. This I have as to be read and it's like one of those classic fantasy series, adult fantasy. And the series is so huge I'm really daunted by it but I don't know when or if I'm ever going to get to it, but for 10 cents, I couldn't really pass it up. I see these at Valley Village all the time, but they want like $5 per book, I believe. So I just picked it up. This is the first in the series, which I'm lucky I found that. And this was a library book, but they must have got a new edition. This one is um, pretty beat up, but like I said, 10 cents, I couldn't walk away from that. The next stack I have here in front of me is what I got yard sailing. So here where I live in Nova Scotia, we have something called the 50 mile yard sale, uh, which is a yard sale that goes on for more than 50 miles really, since so many people have kind of jumped on board and it's the weekend after Labor Day weekend. And then there is another yard sale weekend, the weekend following that weekend for the shore, which is closer to where I live now at least. 
uh, I'm in a weird mood. And I found four books in great condition, all of which I wanted to read. So I picked these ones up from the same lady. She gave me both of them for $5. The first is The Wife Between Us by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. Pekinen. I have no idea if I'm saying that correctly. This is a thriller. I believe um, a man is either cheating on his wife or maybe he just has like a secret admirer who's a little crazy and she wants to be with the husband who is married to someone else, obviously, the wife between us. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time to read it this fall, but hopefully next fall for sure. I don't know what it is about thrillers, but I'm super scared <laughs> to pick them up. Next is Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty. I wanted to read this this summer. I just didn't get around to it. This is kind of a thriller, I believe, but also kind of chiclet-y or women's fiction. Is chiclet like not a nice way to say that? I've heard people correct themselves before, but I just call it chiclet and I didn't realize that would be like offensive. Let me know down below. I don't Anyways, this, there is a murder, a tragic accident, or just parents behaving badly. What's indisputable is that someone is dead. So, I've been wanting to read this for a while. I've wanted to read a few of Leanne Moriarty's books, and I have checked them out from the library, but just never get around to them. I always check out way too many and never get a chance to read them all. But now I have my own copy, and $2.50 for a book is not bad. The other book I wanted to read was The Husband's Secret by Leanne Moriarty. The Canadian Cancer Society had a table at the yard sale where you could pick up um, whatever books you wanted and just leave a donation. So I picked up Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix and I paid five dollars for it. I wish I would have paid them more but that's all the cash that I had left in my little coin purse. I only own owned the first three books all in paperback editions and of course I want all of them. I have of course read all of the Harry Potter books because um, people in my family have them or I've gotten them from the library when I was at school and stuff. So I need to complete my Harry Potter collection obviously. So I did pick up this Harry Potter edition. The um, cover jacket is pretty beat up. I'd say it was taken off the book to be read and then kind of smushed by the way the lines are bent over here, but that's okay. My other Harry Potter editions are in pretty rough shape too because I've owned them since I was like a preteen and I've read them over and over again. Buying a crisp new box set of Harry Potter books is definitely on my wish list and those I will keep pristine. <laughs> Next for two dollars I got the fourth book in the Seven Realms series by Cinda Williams Chima. Chima. This is The Crimson Crown. Brittany the Bibliophile has been raving about the Seven Realms series. I don't actually know what this is about except I do know it's a YA fantasy book but she's been talking on and on about how great the series is. So when I saw the fourth book in a pristine hardcover edition for two dollars I definitely picked it up. This does retail for $20 Canadian. This says compliments of Kevin Murphy, MLA for Eastern Shore. That's weird. Anyways, <laughs> this was gifted by a politician. Not really sure how that comes into play, but I'm excited to have this. And spoiler alert for my next haul, which is just staring at me, but this video is going to be way too long. I found the third book at a used bookstore for just a couple dollars as well. So now I just need the first two. Next up, these are the two books that I've allowed myself to buy new. I try really hard to only buy used books. One, because books are just really expensive and of course I got married recently and weddings are dang expensive. But also, I just... I don't know, I maybe feel like it's a little wasteful, like if I can find the books I want to read either at my library and just return them so someone else can show them love or buy them used. I just feel a little better about that if I can find them used and in good condition. But I found these two new books 
for really good prices. So the first I'm going to talk about is The Perfect Mother by Amy Malloy and this was 40% off at Walmart. I thought that all books at Walmart were 40% off for the longest time but I was so wrong. And a lot of the ones that they have on sale for 40% off aren't ones that I would be interested in. But Kayla from Books and Lala talked about this pretty recently I believe and how good it was. This is a thriller following a group of young moms who get together as kind of like a play group every week. It's a great way, side note, for moms to meet new moms and make friends when you have small babies and are stuck at home all lonely all by yourself. Anyways, they decide to have a girls night out and hire babysitters and finally get like some time to themselves to just hang out without the kids and when they return one of the babies has been taken. And I was really excited. I was like, oh, Books and La La, she talks about this. It's on sale. It's going to be a great price. Can't wait. It's October. Now I'm so scared to pick this up. This just hits way too close to my heart, I feel like. I have pretty bad parental separation anxiety. I don't leave Wyatt specifically with anyone, really. Um, he's only been watched by someone else a handful of times. And I am so anxious whenever he's not with me and the thought that someone could take him not even just be watched by a babysitter but like take him I would have nightmares forever if I read this book I think <laughs> lastly for only five dollars well $4.99 I found Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare this is book one in the Dark Artifices trilogy and it was on sale um, for a limited time only, getting ready for Queen of Air and Darkness, which is releasing in December. I owned the first five books in the Mortal Instruments series, read them, didn't love them, sold them before I even discovered book two, which I'm really regretting now. I am rereading all of Cassandra Clare's books in the proper order, which is by publication date. I've only read um, City of Bones over again. I still need to continue on with this mission. And I'm hoping I love it more when I sprinkle in the Infernal Devices and the Dark Artifices. I've heard those two series are better than the Mortal Instruments. So I'm trying again and for only $5 I figured I'd pick this up and hold on to it <laughs> until I finally get a chance to read it. This is one hefty book. Are all of her books for so cheap now? Because I feel like a paperback this size should definitely be more than five dollars. The original price is only seven. So I don't know, maybe they are that cheap. So those are the 11 books I wanted to share with you. Sorry I didn't know what all of these books were about in a lot of detail. Um, I definitely need to get better with that in regards to my booktube channel but as a reader I prefer going into my books only knowing like the general gist of it or even just knowing the genre like for example Big Little Lies I know this is like a thriller slash women's fiction and there was a murder and that's all I really want to know about it I just I like reading books that way but I do realize as a booktuber that you as a viewer probably want a little more from me and I'm going to try and find a balance with that. If you enjoyed today's video please do give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!